thing it changes its position to change its position in every change in position it takes some time so that means the position of particle is changing with respect to time here we are going to represent that change in position of particle with, res rep with respect to time suppose this is one axis one axis and this is another axis let us take this is the time axis because I can say this is time axis, displacement axis, distance axis because we have discussed about this graph graphical representation in the last year that's why I'm taking these two things are axis time axis and the displacement axis at this point here you see it is the particle the bob is at the mean position so this is the mean position at the mean position the time is zero when the particle when the bob is displacing from its mean position the time also increases so the time increases position also increases for this the graph the graph will be drawn like this it will be drawn like this because in this the time increases position also increases you see here from this point then next to this point next to this point the position is increasing and hence the time also increases like this it reach the maximum position that is extreme position from the mean position to extreme position the maximum displacement that is called what it is the amplitude so from this point the it, it represents the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position so we say this is the amplitude of this oscillation and then at the extreme position it will not be in the stable condition from that extreme position it come back to the mean position when it is coming back to the mean position what happens the displacement decreases because from this position we are measuring the displacement as it is moving towards right the displacement increases the position increases when it is coming back it is decreasing displacement decreases but time will not decrease because once the time is started it will increase continuously whether the position decrease or increase so the position decrease but the time is increasing for this the graph will be drawn like this it is drawn like this now the particle the bob has reached its mean position again it is going to the opposite opposite extreme it is going to opposite extreme again the position increases the displacement increases time also increase so the graph will be drawn like this now this is the opposite extreme position and then once again it is coming back to the mean position so the particle coming back to mean position time once again increases continuously the time is increasing but the particles position increases then decreases to mean position then goes to extreme position opposite side extreme position and coming back to the mean position now we say the particle the bob has completed its one oscillation for the one oscillation of the particle for the one oscillation of bob this type of pattern is formed and this represents the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position so this represents the amplitude this is amplitude this is also representing amplitude because on the other side also the amplitude can be measured both are equal so this is also amplitude and here this graph can be can be made in this way this graph is made in this way because actually we plot the graph like this x axis and y axis here it is drawn the graph is made in this way. Now this is the graph, actual graph. And this we call the wave pattern for the oscillation of particle. And this is called one wave. Means when the particle has completed one oscillation, now we say it is one wave. It is equal to one wave. This is the mean position. From the mean position, it reaches the extreme position. This is the amplitude and then coming back to mean position 
Finally, then next it is going in the opposite direction, that is opposite, opposite extreme and then coming back to mean position. So, the particle has completed its one oscillation. In this way, if the bob is oscillating continuously, then any number of waves can be made. Any number of waves can be made. If it is oscillating like this continuously, any number of oscillations can be made. So this represents continuous oscillation of the body about its main position in which the maximum displacement that is amplitude. This represents the amplitude. And while it is oscillating, so this represents one oscillation. This represents two oscillations. Here three oscillations. The number of oscillations can be counted from the graphical representation. This number of oscillation and amplitude of this oscillation both are related to the sound. Both are related to the nature of sound. Because we already discussed about the loudness of sound and the sharpness of sound. The loudest sound in human being, the loudest sound is produced in male adult, the sharpest sound produced in female baby. And that loudness, sharpness of sound, for this, the amplitude of vibration and the number of oscillations, number of oscillation or amplitude of oscillation, both are related to that nature of sound. Now, this wave pattern is produced by all the oscillating particles, by all the vibrating particles. And that uh, oscillation, when we, when we use this oscillation for the sound, for the sound produced by anything, sound produced by anything means any source. It may be for human being, it may be for musical instruments, it may be for the animals, sound produced by animals. For every sound, this wave pattern can be used because for all the sound, this kind of wave pattern is produced. Suppose, different objects are producing sound. The sound produced by different objects may not be same. Definitely, they are different. They are different. In the sense of amplitude, in the sense of number of oscillations completed. Number of oscillations completed. Suppose we are taking an object A. It is the source A. It will produce the sound and the wave pattern is formed like this. This is the wave pattern produced for an object A. And then another object, it is the sound produced by an object B. For this, we are having the graphical, that the wave pattern in this way. This is the wave pattern produced for the object B. Now, difference is what? What is the difference between these two vibration? You see, in both the things, they are different. For the object A, the amplitude of vibration is this much. For the object B, the amplitude of vibration is this much. Obviously, the amplitude of vibration for object B is greater is greater and then coming for the number of oscillation suppose this is the time one second from here to here we consider this is for one second so object a completed how many oscillations in one second one two three so the object a has completed three oscillations in one second so the number of oscillations in one second, it is 